Hey everybody, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, if you like what you see, then I hope you'll consider subscribing um, so as not to miss out on any future videos. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a zoom effect of a still image in Premiere Pro. So here we are, Premiere Pro. Um, I've already got the image in. We're gonna use this photograph of my Lego camper. Absolutely love Lego. Um, I'm a big kid at heart, really. So uh, this is really, really quick. Really, really simple. Um, we'll start off by selecting the frame. And then we're gonna go up to the scale slider here, hit that scale toggle. Let me just come out again. And it's gonna drop in a keyframe where our um, our slider is. Don't worry about that, we can move we can move that in a moment. Um, take your slider, position it to where you want the zoom effect to end, come back over to the scale tab here and then just alter the percentage. So it starts off 100%. I'm going to take that up to 125%. Now, I said that we don't worry about where you move these, these sliders, uh, your, your keyframes. The first keyframe, I, I want my zoom effect to start almost instantly. So I'm just going to move that to the left slightly. And if we just play that, there you go, you can see that throughout the course of that clip, between the two frame, key frames, let me play that again, you can see that it zooms in on that still image. It is as simple as that. Nothing complicated about that whatsoever. But what if, during that zoom, you wanted to move the focus from the center of the image to a particular part of, of, of the photo? So all we'll do, let me come out of here slightly to 100% so we can see. Um, we're gonna use the position uh, toggle on this one. So select the position toggle. Again, you can see it brings up another keyframe. Let's come out of that. And then take your slider, move it to where you want the, um, the the pan to finish select motion and then just drag the frame to where you want it to move so now if we play that not only does it zoom in but it also pans across the image to where you want to draw people's focus. Now obviously I've used in this tutorial um, some large um, percentages. So I've gone from 100 to 125% in the in the zoom. Um, I've done that purely for this tutorial in order to to really have an effective uh, and impactive uh, zoom subtlety is key. And that's the that's the same for the panning as well. Subtlety is key. Um, let's say I've, I've used large percentages uh, or large leaps in percentages for this tutorial just so to show you but mess around with it um, it's it's a personal thing it it always is I've, I've said it time and time again photography is subjective uh, and it's all down to personal preference so give it a crack so guys if you found this tutorial useful smash that like button um, let me know what you liked about it in the comment section below. Uh, and as always, I will leave a step-by-step -step guide um, in the description below, so do check that out. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.